So I'm just reviewing our blended core instructional model because it's been a while since we've actually looked at that and I think our understanding of the model has changed. So we're just going to review what we had written down uh, and I think we'll find out that our model was very flexible and accommodates the actual practices that we are doing right now. So the, at the basic level, here was our model. We said we would uh, do some efficient use for face-to-face -face time where we would deliver some instruction however that instructional delivery would look like. Uh, during that face time, we would assess how well students understand the material, and then we would also test and uh, give some assignments. And those tests and assignments uh, ideally would be by uh, the big objectives or curricular checklists. We take all that information of our face-to-face -face time, uh, how well uh, we assess students were doing in that face-to-face -face time, and then the information provided by the modules and by tests to get a grade for the students. And we'd say that grade um, in future detail would really pretty much be are they doing excellent, proficient, adequate, or limited, or totally insufficient. And we'd say the teacher professional judgment sort of is the best informer of those grades, although we can certainly do percentages and then adjust as needed with course corrections. So here's the next level of the model. This looks a little bit more similar to what we started with, with the idea of formative assessment, summative assessment, uh, being these two pieces. So we'd say what we do is some blended learning, and then we would assess the work that was done and enter a final grade. Now we've got some more details in that, and so what we started to uh, do for details was flush out what happens in this blended learning. Uh, cycle. And so what we really said we'd do is we'd do face-to-face -face instruction on the stuff that matters most. Uh, there would also be some distance learning instruction with the modules. These together would uh, be all the instruction that the student has received and they would sort of have an assessment on how well we did face-to-face, -face, how well you did on the modules. We would have our test or other assessment uh, ideally done by curricular checklists or what we call by the objectives and together all those pieces of information would feed into our grade. Now we'll take another look at uh, this piece and go into some more detail because the next detail we said well with this test do we always have to test everything that the students uh, are expected to learn or if we know face to face they've got this topic nailed do I need to give them a test on it? And the answer was sometimes not always. And so that's why we see this arrow skipping over to here saying, for some objectives, we could probably skip that on a test. Why make them do more work? We also said for some of the modules content, if uh, they aren't revisiting that ever again, my feedback is going to be ignored. They're not going to do anything with it. Then isn't that more of a summative assessment rather than a formative assessment? And so that raised some interesting questions. If the modules aren't being used for practice and feedback, then maybe we don't need to give them a test again on that material. Uh, plunk it right back into the grade. And for here, I'm thinking something like the Science 14 content, where the test is the exact same memorization questions they just had on the modules. Now, we also went into some more detail uh, with this. And what we detailed was, well, how does the face-to-face -face instruction actually look. And so what we said was in the face-to-face -face instruction when we're analyzing how that could go is we said, well, we'll probably have some discussion to figure out what do they know and what do they not know. Because we don't want to always review topics that they know very well. So we'll have a diagnostic discussion. What do you know? What do you not know? We will uh, get them to make some products. Maybe could you demonstrate uh, this law of science law? Could you demonstrate uh, this issue in globalization and talk to me a little bit about it. We'll see that product and then we'll really know what are the real gaps and then maybe we have to provide some instruction or say, nope, you're good enough. Now what we would say is uh, through this we'd say, well you're probably here at about a 60 percent level. You're adequate in your knowledge. You certainly could be better. Do you want to do better? Uh, this would require us to continue on with this topic a little bit more. So that's where we went with the uh, uh, instruction instructional delivery in the blended learning component, the face-to-face -face component of that. Now, we get a little bit more complicated 
uh, right to this one. And so what this was really sort of just saying is, you know, if we're doing all this work on this formative assessment piece, these discussions, we should really be able to sort of, instead of saying are they good enough or not good enough, probably be able to give a grade or a pass-fail at this point. And then what it raises is the question of what is our assignment booklet doing? Is our assignment booklet part of the test or does our test uh, test everything? And I don't think we resolve those questions. Should your test be on everything or should it just be on the stuff that uh, our assessment is uncertain about? So then we got into this really ugly piece here. And this was more sort of thinking about issues than the actual model. This was saying, well, how do we know what is important, what's our core topics, and what isn't? What happens if a student says, oh, I got my test done, but I want to try that topic again because I think I could do better if I just cleared up one piece? And then we said, well, then we just run the instructional cycle again and give them another test. So to summarize, our model basically looks just like this piece right here where we have something we're doing face to face some modules being pieced together as an assessment and we take all those pieces of information to put our grade together